What is good, Divine Diamond Squad? We are back with another lit video, man. And today, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're gonna be talking about, let's get right into it. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend until they ain't your mommy, tell their uncle Joey spiritual. Let's get right into the video. I don't know if you've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face mm. to do something I didn't want to do. Mm. And what? Just damn. That nigga said, chill. Relax. You know they're watching. <laughs> And it's so crazy because some of these celebrities, they do want to speak out and they want to expose the truth after being bamboozled for so long or after like, even if they were with it at one point, sometimes it comes, it comes to a point to where they don't want to do this shit no more. They don't want to be a part of this agenda anymore. They see the hurt, pain and, 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 and destruction that is being caused and they want to speak out. Did y'all not just see Kevin Hart saying, shut the heart up? And you see a lot of pictures with artists and celebrities doing symbolism. Not only with the one eye symbolism, but with the finger over their mouth, like, shh, hush, this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're saying, we cannot speak about this. There's certain things that y'all don't know, Right? And y'all can't know. And we can't say. Because if we do, our life could be threatened. Our life can be in danger. So shout out to Kelly Clarkson, man. That's crazy. And we all know Kevin Hart is one of the biggest sellouts. The reason why he has so much fame and notoriety as far as um, comedians out here, right? He ain't the funniest comedian. But he doing anything for a piece of change, y'all wearing dresses, doing all types of stuff, fam. You know, like he's going to do whatever they say to do. Point blank, period. This is crazy, y'all. I don't know if you've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And <laughs> what? Just <laughs> you've been off. Yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> Yeah. That was my way of yes, chewing yeah. you. Like, it's open dialogue. Yeah, you want me to keep talking about by, it? By all means, let's, we can keep talking about anything. But. but don't. And it's so funny because he's a comedian, right? We're used to seeing Kevin as. Of course, Kevin is a fucking human being, right? He doesn't have to be funny all the time. But this nigga is dead ass serious. Like, dude, I'm trying to give you a cue. Shut the fuck up. Right? Before you get your ass in trouble. Just. You've been off. Yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Wanna, they watch yeah. it. That was my way of cueing yeah. you. Like, it's open dialogue. Yeah, you want me to keep talking about by, it? By all means, let's, we can keep talking about anything. But, <laughs> but don't do it. Yeah, I just... I, so I, it's, I, Kelly Clarkson proves why Kevin Hart is controlled by Hollywood elites. Get ready for a mind-blowing deep dive mm -hmm. into the captivating world of Hollywood's secrets and celebrity influence. She was like one of the first American idols, right? I think so. Yeah. Influence. Have you ever wondered what's happening behind the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown? Well, prepare to have your curiosity piqued as we unravel the intriguing connections <clears throat> between Kelly Clarkson and Kevin Hart. What, what is that? Uh, what is that? Give me a, a clear description of how that makes you feel. And how these seemingly unrelated stars might just hold the key to understanding the hidden powers that shape the entertainment industry. Is there a web of control that stretches behind the scenes, manipulating the decisions and actions of our favorite celebrities? Kelly Clarkson's journey might just hold the answers we've been searching for. Kelly Clarkson, the pop sensation turned talk show host, has risen to fame with her powerful voice and relatable charm. But what if there's more to her story than meets the eye? We'll explore her rise to stardom and how her experiences might shed light on the intricate web of influence within Hollywood. And then there's the comedic powerhouse, Kevin Hart. From stand-up comedy to blockbuster films, his meteoric rise seems like a classic success story. Hmm. But is there more at play here? Could his trajectory be influenced by the very forces that control the entertainment industry? Mm -hmm. I really, I don't, I don't like it roller coasters and, and you made me do it you won't believe your eyes folk in a recent interview kelly clarkson boldly came forward with some intriguing information about herself that is supposed ties to the infamous hollywood elite kevin hart's actions in a recently surfaced video have led certain fans to speculate about why he wouldn't let kelly clarkson reveal more of what she was saying mm. the clip which was shared on twitter shows hart on clarkson's talk show the mm. kelly clarkson show during mm. the segment hart a comedian and actor appears to signal for silence by placing his finger 
finger to his lips as Clarkson discusses being enticed with money to engage in an undesirable task. During the conversation between Clarkson and Hart, the former singer candidly discussed receiving financial propositions from the entertainment industry to do stuff that she doesn't want to. We did date a little bit. You did. I think any two people who are thrown together that much. This disclosure prompted an intriguing response from Hart. HSE said, I have had people throw millions of dollars at my face to do something I didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. Following his shushing gesture with his finger towards Clark's... Everybody else. I mean, not everybody else, but yeah. All the other celebrities have too. Even me. I have. I'm not even no fucking celebrity, right? But I went through the similar thing on a smaller scale, right? I'm not selling my soul. I'm not doing none of this shit, bro. I don't care. 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 That is against my morals. And I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm talking about getting blown up. Calls, text messages, diamond. I got a check for you. I'm straight. I'm good. So it's like you got to put your morals over the money, you know? And know that there's millions of ways to get money, man. Right? But these people just be so money hungry that they just got to have it now. They just want it now and they don't care what it costs. They don't care if it costs their soul, their granny's soul, their mama's life, their cousin life, their brother. That he used to change his diaper and all types of shit. And he will sacrifice his own brother for this quote unquote famous success and money and shit, bro. It, I'm sorry. Real niggas just don't do that. Real niggas don't do it. I can't. I won't. <laughs> I can't, I won't, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, shout out to Kelly Clarkson, like I said. And I do believe that Kelly Clarkson did, on some level, sell out as well. But like I said, some of these people get to a point to where they no longer want to be controlled. They no longer want to be a part of the agenda. They no longer want to co-sign a bullshit that they have experienced in the industry and the shit that they have seen that majority of the people don't even want to open their eyes to see. So once again, shout out to Kelly. Kevin is one of the biggest sellouts. Not saying that he's not funny. Sometimes he is funny, right? I don't feel like he's the funniest. I just don't. <laughs> but he's going to be the funny. He's going to be the face of funny because of the things that Kevin is willing to do. She playfully suggested that individuals who had presented him with monetary offers for comparable actions might be present in the room where the interview was taking place. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, you've been offered. They're in the room. <laughs> Hart clarified, that was my way of giving you a cue. There's not nobody who is successful that has not been offered something for their morals and their soul. There's not one person that hasn't got that offer, you know? There's not one person who was about to be famous or about to be successful or whatever it is, right? That hasn't been offered something for their soul. I'm telling y'all, man, it happens. Even on smaller scales, like I said, like I'm not no big YouTuber. I don't consider myself a big YouTuber, right? But even I have gotten offers, right? To go against my morals for money. Trying to get me to sell my soul, not having it, man. I'm not having it. I don't even want to... <laughs> I don't like to speak too much on that situation, man. But it'd be weirdo shit, man. Everything from being stalked. Everything from... Like, I remember moving. Thank God I moved. But even when I moved, it was people outside of the house. Like, man, bro, y'all just don't understand. Y'all don't understand how deep this shit is. And just because somebody is not on a Drake level does not mean that they're not coming for you, too. They want influencers to influence on all levels. Right? You're not safe if you got 50,000 subscribers. They might come to you at 50, 50K. They might come to you at 20K subscribers, right? They want people of all levels. And they want to see how far you'll go. They're going to give you certain tests to see how far you'll go, man. Shit crazy, really. And went on to explain. We can engage in open dialogue about anything except for that. Mm -hmm. As he repeated the hushing motion once more. <laughs> Although the clip lacks the full context of the conversation, which could have illuminated the level of humor Hart infused into the situation, certain social media users had seen sufficient material to form their opinions. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. I think you're in a relationship and your woman has never tried to hit you. She don't love you. Whether the duo was joking or not Kevin, remains uncertain. Up. Although Clarkson's laughter... You sound like a B-word. All right. Captured in the video suggests that the matter might not be intended to be treated overly seriously. Initially, Kelly dismissed Kevin's remark with laughter, assuming he was joking. Mm -hmm. However, she soon grasped the sincerity he behind his words. Various interpretations can be derived from this reaction, and several individuals on Twitter have concluded, whether in a joke or with seriousness, that Hart 
Bart's gesture might be linked to his connection with the Illuminati. As documented by Adam Curtis in his BBC series Can't Get You Out of My Head, the origins of the Illuminati conspiracy trace back to the 1960s. One of the great dreams of our age, and when you're living through a dream, you don't quite see it. It involves speculation that the global elite constituted its membership, using their combined sway and authority to control world affairs. Despite the absence of any substantiating proof for this conspiracy theory, the term seems to have originated from the historical Bavarian Illuminati organization, a secret society established during the Enlightenment period in what is now Germany. The Illuminati conspiracy theory gained notable traction in the 2000s, with numerous music videos being subjected to online scrutiny over alleged subliminal messages. Videos by artists such as Beyonce and Rihanna featuring prominently recurring triangles were cited as evidence of their affiliation with the Illuminati. It was speculated that these symbols conveyed their membership and were aimed at communicating this information covertly to those who were aware. However, in recent mm -hmm. times, the Illuminati conspiracy theory has transformed into something of an internet meme. YouTube personalities like KSI have openly ridiculed theorists who had formerly linked them to this covert organization. But this might be serious as to why Kevin Hart would tell Kelly Clarkson to shut up. In recent times, a lot of conspiracy theories have emerged, including actors speaking about the exploitation they face in the hands of Hollywood. They are expected to work overtime, leaving no personal life and involve in acts that might not be comfortable for them to perform. Well, guess what money can't buy? Is the self-respect actor's worldwide involved in such acts as Kelly Clarkson is telling us about might hint towards something that no I don't see, think you heard me like how much it's for and I'm like I don't think you heard me which has been part of Hollywood for a long time so facts I don't care what the check says that's the thing man like Shout out to Kelly, bro. One of the tactics commonly employed to demean or coerce individuals who are A-list celebrities into joining this particular circle involves what they refer to as a ritual. During this process, they are subjected to a form of emasculation, essentially a form of humiliation. Mm -hmm. This may manifest as them engaging in behaviors that appear homosexual or involve cross-dressing. It recently came to light that Dave Chappelle and Kevin Hart have mentioned that within the industry, there was an attempt to make him wear a woman's dress for comedy purposes. Dave Chappelle shared his incident when Hollywood tried to make him do such a thing. In an interview, he told how as if he's linking dots that perhaps shouldn't naturally connect those specific dots that stand out. It's worse. Yeah. What are you tired of talking about? It's 10 I years. Don't, of I about don't it. talk about it. It's like, you know. Like the pattern of black actors being made to wear dresses in movies at some point during their careers. This realization has been occurring to him, and he recalls a personal instance of this when I was working on a film with Martin. Everything was going well until a scene involving a dress came up unexpectedly. Mr. Ryder, our collaborator, explained the scene humorously. Martin's character needed to escape from jail and would disguise himself as a prostitute, donning a dress as part of the disguise Dave shared that he immediately felt uneasy about it and conveyed his discomfort. He mentioned that this aspect should have been discussed beforehand, the fact that he wasn't comfortable with it. As you can observe, there's an odd situation unfolding within the industry that revolves around the imagination of African-American males, mm -hmm. as well as men in general. This phenomenon involves them being associated with a particular group of individuals in a rather peculiar manner. Additionally, the video snippet featuring Kelly Clarkson and Kevin Hart... It really doesn't matter to me in the best sense. Like, it matters, but like... It, it matters for what the worth I give it. Taken directly from the interview adds to this strange narrative. These observations made people come to realize that Hollywood has been trying to control celebrities and pressuring them. Additionally, the actors are advised to keep their mouths shut, just like Kevin Hart reacted to Kelly Clarkson's mm -hmm. statement. I'm setting myself. He's a good little puppy. Fuck. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check myself now. In fear <laughs> of facing the consequences by the Hollywood elites. An eye-opening journey through the gestures made by none other than Kevin Hart himself. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, there's no denying the intrigue surrounding the link between Hollywood elites and their influence on our favorite stars. A user wrote online, watched a video where at Kelly Clarkson and at Kevin Hart for real were talking and Kevin stopped her from talking because of the Illuminati. Kevin was shushing her, Kevin Hart, are you saying someone or a group has that much power over actors and of singers? Course. Really? John 3, 16 says differently. That's it for today's videos, guys. Hit 
Hey man, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I feel like I gave a lot of commentary on this. Let me know how y'all feel, man. Was Kevin really trying to shut her up because he already knows what the deal is? And he was trying to protect her and him at the same time? Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I do believe that Kevin is one of the better puppets out here, you know, and he is not trying to risk what he has attained. He's not trying to go against the grain. He is not trying to ruffle any feathers. He is good where he's at. Hey, that's the choice he makes, man. This life is about decisions. I wouldn't do it, but who am I to say that Kevin Hart shouldn't do it or anybody else shouldn't do it? If that's the choice and decision you, you want to make, you just got to live with it. I ain't got to live with it. You got to live with it. So make sure that you guys choose wisely. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their angel, mama, tell their uncle Joe. He's spiritual. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby. Thank you.